Interventions for the first goal are to 1. Have the patient know and accept the presence of fatigue. Fatigue is the most persistent and common symptom of MS. Studies indicate that fatigue encountered by patients with this disease occurs with an expenditure of minimal energy, is more frequent and more severe than normal nursing school fatigue, and has a disproportionate impact on ADLs, and it also has a slower recovery time. The second intervention is to identify and review factors affecting their ability to be active. We can ask them questions like, do you notice you're more fatigued after certain activities or after you know, a certain time of day? This provides an opportunity to problem solve to maintain or improve their mobility. The first intervention for the second goal is to schedule ADLs in the morning if appropriate because fatigue, is commonly, fatigue commonly worsens in the late afternoon when body temperature rises. We can educate, we can also educate them to sit while dressing to conserve energy, simplify activities that require less energy such as they can set their clothes out the night before so that in the morning their dressing requires less energy. We can also educate them to use adaptive equipment, gadgets, energy saving devices, devices such as a sock aid reacher, a raised toilet seat, and a tub transfer bench to conserve energy. The second intervention is to educate the patient on the importance of stopping exercise or activities just short of becoming fatigued and to realize and to take mental note when it's happening. Because with MS fatigue, it's more effective to rest before an activity or to bank energy rather than to become overly fatigued and then trying to recover.